good afternoon good morning or whichever time you are viewing this clip we are now going to look at amortized loan this is unit 5 one of the most important this is most important applications of compound interest involves loans that are paid off in installments over time included are automobile loans or mortgages loans student loans and most business loans other than very short-term loans and long-term bonds if a loan is to be repaid in equal periodic amounts in this case monthly quarterly or annually it is said to be an amortized loan all right now the table below illustrates the amortization process in it in the table above a firm borrows one thousand dollars and the loan is to be repaid in three equal equal payments at the end of each of the six of the next three years in this case there is only one payment per year so years equal periods and the stated rate equal what? periodic rate the lender charges six percent interest rate on the loan balance that is outstanding at the beginning of each year the first task is to determine the amount the firm must repay each year or the constant annual payment to find this amount recognize that the one thousand dollars represents what the present value of an annuity of payment dollars per year for three years discounted at what six percent so this is how it is done now calculation of payment now we know the present value the interest rate and the number of periods the only unknown variable is what payment which is the pmt using the equation below we solve for the following so our present value of annuity is equal to pmt present value interest factor interest factor of annuity i n now remember that we are saying to find this amount recognize that what the one thousand dollars represents what the present value of annuity of pmt so therefore the one dollars is the present value of annuity in this case it will be equal to pmt which is what we want to find we have 2.6730 now this now how we get this now to get this remember i said that six percent right and it's for how much years by the way three years so we'll look at the present value interest factor table of annuity table that is so what is coming up you that give it some time it's soon be there all right let's go now so we're looking for our present value interest factor present value interest factor table annuity table six percent three years right two point six seven three zero which is right there good then now currently the two point six three zero is multiplying what pmt so you, you want pmt on one says you're going to do the opposite of what is being happening here so you're going to divide this side by two point six seven three zero and also what this side by two point six seven three zero when you have done that you get up with two hundred seventy four point one one which will be a payment all right and then now to fill out this table now what you do is to put in your payment in full right here good put in the three hundred and fourteen point one one the beginning amount is one thousand dollars right now you may wondering how this so the beginning amount is one thousand dollars right this you can fill in you need to do no question like this you just fill in them put them put in the payments and that that's it right this figure here is a total amount for this right all right to calculate the interest now notice now interest is a is calculated by multiplying the loan balance at the beginning of the year by the what interest rate so therefore interest rate, interest rate in year one is what one thousand times what zero point zero six which is six percent and that will give you the what sixty dollars in year two it is six eighty five point eight nine but before we go there now now you have gotten this now to get b to get the two hundred and fourteen point one one you it will be what payment minus what interest so repayment of principal is equal to what 
payment of 374 which is the payment minus what the interest charge for each year and that will give you 214 one one to get the remaining balance now you would have it be one minus four which is what beginning amount minus repayment of principal and that will give you what 685.89 remember this is, this part is four I'm going to figure out five. Now this now you bring over to here. Good. So the, this is already calculated from before, which is a given. But for this now, it will be what six eighty five times what six percent? Zero point zero six will give you what two hundred forty one fifteen. Then you go again your primitive principal eight two minus three, which is two hundred thirty two point nine six. Then six eighty five eight nine minus three thirty two point nine six to get what remaining balance. And then they bring this remaining balance over here now. You multiply this now by by six percent again. You get twenty one point one eight. Then you have this minus this. You get three two point nine six, and you get about zero point zero three. But this is really zero actually, All right? And then that's that for that. Out of everything here, good, and that's it. All right. That's how you do this. It's very easy, not hard to learn. Very easy to learn and understand. So please do learn it. It will come on the exam naturally. Alright. Hope you said that I've learned something here. Go back to the video again. Read through again. Make notes. Relevant notes. To help you to understand these things. It's very easy to understand. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching.